All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here, and you know what? All right, we are gonna go, I guess, six 100 kilos. But we are doing today's challenges to open up the TB3 and the XF5F. So what I've tried to do is stick to tier one. There may be some tier twos in here, I'm not entirely sure. But our mission today is kind of cool because I'm flying a Russian lineup in arcade mode because there's two challenges you need to complete. Um, well, depending on the plane. If you want the Tupolev TB3, you need to destroy 10 ground targets with bombs. If you'd like the XF5F, you need to destroy 10 ground targets with rockets. Now, naturally, I want both. So I'm going to do my best to destroy... Um, I'm gonna try to get it done in one go. We'll see if we can't do it. So we've got a lot of planes flying in. We just, the good thing is we have plenty of planes with bombs and plenty with rockets. All right, so we're on our bombing run here. All right, so we got four out of 10. Now there is a times two modifier in simulator battles for both, but I figured, looks like we have someone on our tail here. Oh, I missed an opportunity. All right, yeah, I'm thinking it's, it's gonna be possible to do it in two goes. So I basically just have to survive for a minute and drop a couple more bombs. I could bail out, which is an option. But I figure I'm feeling pretty lucky right now. I have a Hayabusa and a Buffalo. Buffalo is what I have to worry about the most. I guess I could shoot down some planes. That's stupid. I wonder why I didn't really get laser beams, son. All right, 32 seconds halfway there. Getting nicked, but there's no, uh, you know, true damage, really. Or rather, it's all superficial. We've taken hits and flashes. All right, 17 seconds. Gotta keep an eye on the time. It looks like there's three medium tanks in a row right there. That's what I'm gonna be going for. 10 seconds, it's time to turn around. I'm hoping I don't get critted right here. All right, so aircraft destroyed. Well, that's always good, isn't it? All right, so there's two lined up right here. One's dead. I don't think that's gonna work not going to cut it. Alright, we got a howitzer. That's an easy one right there. Alright, now we're going to have to swoop back. We have three bombs left, and then we're just going to bail out right away. Oh my gosh, there's so many ground targets in this one. It should be very doable. Alright. So we got eight. Huh. Well, I'll be. But we... I guess my numbers were a little off. We got laser beams behind us. All right, we're going down. If we can just wait a little bit, this fire is going to take us out. All right, we're so we're nine. We're going to have to do that again. We're going to switch to rockets, though. What do you think we should do, guys? Should we play conservative? You know what? We're gonna we're just gonna blitz real quick. We're here for the challenges. And it looks like there's plenty of targets still over here. The action was all down that avenue, so I'm not going to go that way. Now I'll get two, two to three kills with these bombs, and then I'm switching immediately to rockets. And for rockets, I have an I-16 and I think two I-15 or I-153s. I may not have optimized the lineup. It may not be the best one but there's so many options with the Russians that I should be more than fine. I need to get 10 kills between three planes with rockets. Hmm. Six times three is 18. It's gonna be tough actually, because they're not very accurate. All right, so I'm missing and bombs are out. Well, I'm just 
gonna have to trust that it counted. Look at that plane just looping up. All right, so six rockets, six rockets, eight rockets. I should have gone, you should go Chaikas instead of I-15 BIS because they have two extra rockets. So I have 20 total rockets, so I need to be 50% accurate with my rockets. Um, let's see, is this Kai-61 strafing ground targets? No, he's not. We need to check out the map. There should be more stuff popping up. Um, what would be the best ones to go for are obviously not these medium tanks and stuff, but like howitzers, artillery. I'm going to avoid pillboxes because I don't think my rockets have the punch for it. So we're at 10 ground kills. And we didn't do it perfectly. SU-2, not really interested at this time. He's probably doing the same thing I'm doing. This area might be cleaned out, actually. It looks like there's some AAA maybe over here. On the mini map. Ooh. Who's this? Hurricane. this friendly at? Howitzer. Hmm. Yep, so we got beset on here. Alright. Just gotta hope that... Look at that. One hit. Alright, rockets is gonna be tough. It's probably not gonna be doable. So it took two... Oh, here we go. Armored cars. I missed, see? So we're at about 50% accuracy now. Also, we're getting attacked. And the planes we have next are... No, I wanted to test it. These rockets are just not good enough for medium tanks. All right, some derpy little rolls there. Evade that angry, angry hurricane. And we're going to have to see. Alright, that did the trick. Look at that. Three minutes. I guess that's not too terrible. And we can deal with our friend here. And a new friend we have. We're probably not going to survive. We're going to try to. You always got to. Got two of these guys on my tail on I-15. I'm not going to be able to turn in time, I don't think. But if he gets in front of me, I'll shoot him down. Alright. Hopefully that's enough. Where's this hurricane now? He's still chasing us, I think. Yes, he is. Alright, so we're on fire. That's out. Gotta leave the plane. Let's check our lineup. Is it five planes or six planes? Five planes, yeah. Should have gone with Chaika. I'll go with the Chaika now. And I'm gonna head towards the right area. There should be a decent amount of targets. Medium tanks, there are those armored cars. I'm gonna have to go for those armored cars that are kind of trailing this medium tank column. So I only have three rocket kills. I need seven more and I have eight rockets. Can I do it in one go? I sure hope so. I will tell you that. But get in close. Hit seven armored cars. Let's hope there are that number because I have eight rockets. It's definitely doable. It's definitely doable. It would be so great to do this in one challenge now. Alright, there they are. How many do we got? One popping up so far. Anyone? No one's real. Hurricane's over there. NTR and Hurricane. So we got one, two, three, I believe, so far that I can see. Four. That's a tank. Alright. Ah. Nope, not even gonna waste it, so. <laughs> yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Pressure is on right now. Alright, we 
are you guys at? We'll go for this one here. Look at that. I need to get a direct hits, pretty much. So I have four. Whoa. Just got boom and zoom. And the maneuverability is borked. We do have one plane left. We gotta get these last three. That is my mission. Oh no. That's unfortunate. I fired two rockets at that last guy. We need five left. Armored cars taking direct hits. We're not even worried about shooting at other people. So let's see. Where'd it go? You know what? Hindsight, get the rocket ones first and go after the soft targets like artillery, AAA. And then with the other ones, or with your rockets, or excuse me, with your bombs, you're going to be able to take medium tanks and light pillboxes a lot better. Now, I don't even know what's over there. I need to get rid of that pesky hurricane, I'll tell you that much. I wonder if there's AAA by the base. That would be doable. We're going to test that out. We're going to fly over this mess. Because those armored cars just take a little bit. We're going to fly at their base. At this point in the game, there's a lot of people still with planes. If there are, where's their base? Their airfield. We're going to have to find out on the map. Alright, it is two here. It's easy to get confused. All right, we're heading straight at it. If there's usually AAA around it, and we need five with six rockets, so we're gonna have to be what? We're like 85% accuracy right here to hit five out of six. I think that's the numbers. Come on, baby. Show me the AAA and don't get trolled by it. Do not get the troll. Yes, 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 all right. There it is. Now we're going to swoop down lower, line some of these up. We have to be very accurate and not get hit by AAA. That would be bad. Oh, not a direct hit, guys. So that's our miss. Oh, my. Maybe these aren't as good as I thought they would be. Maybe my accuracy is bad. All right, I'm trying to... Oh. Someone shoot down. Shot down my AAA. Well, guys, we learned a lesson that I was overcompensating. But the good thing is, is now, all right, we need rockets. Let's look at the planes. Let's formulate a good lineup. How to do this the best? Because we were we were close. Yep, 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 yep. Check it out. Rockets was the limiting step here. We got bombs, now we need rockets. So, I would, let's see, I'm sitting into tier one. IL-2s are tier two, or else I would've used that. If you wanted to use tier two, you'd probably be fine. But I usually like to go for tier one, because I feel like you have a better chance <clears throat> of not getting shot down really quickly. So here we go, eight rockets. So the Chaikas are good in that regard. And you have one, and I believe it's, yeah, you can get two Chaikas. So now we have two Chaikas in the lineup. Do these guys carry rockets? If they do, then that's a no-brainer. Lag 311? Bombs or rockets? Wait. Oh, my. We definitely did our lineup incorrect, but now let's check. All right, so the lag 311, what's his battle rating? 2.0. So he'll put you into tier 2 battles. This guy is tier 1.7, the I-16. Hmm. And then there's obviously this beast, the Po-2. I'm going to use the Chaikas and then these two SU-2s because I feel like that would stick with my original plan of making sure or doing the best possible to keep me within tier one. We got Cliff Coast here. 
to keep me within tier one and give me good options. What's good about the Chaikas and the I-15, if you wanted to switch one of the SU-2s for an I-15 BIS anyway, is that the Chaikas can carry bombs or rockets. So say you are really good with rockets, and we're just going to boom in here and take a few soft targets out and get out. So we're going to go I-16 for speed. All right, medium tanks. All right, P40. Yep, looks like looks like we're tier one still. Oh, here we go. So, how many did we need again? Four. That's very doable, and we'll just bail out if we need to. But yeah, so that was my approach, just because arcade pretty pretty quick. Oh, these are light pillboxes. Triple A, triple A. Hmm. This one first. Oh god, look at that guy. Sniping. Alright, that was a good miss, guys. We got all kinds of people rocketing, so this will be <laughs> we thought we were gonna have it done pretty quickly. This may actually be this game. Might be tough, especially if someone jumps on me right now. Be veering out and then veering back in. Yep. Got a wildcat here. Hellcat would be good. Jeez. That would be really good, wouldn't it? There's no one around me, so this guy will just loop right back down, more than likely. Nope. But the Hellcats would be great. Those things can carry just so much ordnance. They can carry bombs and rockets at the same time. Hellcats are tier 2. That's weird. Guy made a loop for us and did not commit. Wasn't interested. Alright, so here's where I'm headed. Green pastures. Most things take direct hits with these rockets nowadays. So... Armored cars are moving, tanks are moving, and pretty much invulnerable, you know, assuming you can't get an almost direct hit. You have to be really freaking accurate. Alright, so here's three lined up. That's another thing I like to do is plan it so I have my other approaches. Where is this guy? SPD-3 up high. Could be bombing, but we should be fine. Alright. Alright, so we're two out of four, 50% done. Let's loop up, get some altitude, and drop on this one. Oh god, look. Ooh, alright. We're still at two, and we only have one rocket left. These sandbags actually seem to be doing a good job another dodge the old wildcat mini game <laughs> alright time to get this wildcat we got two minutes fifty three seconds if we die with this we know the area to go to yeah ooh triple a is nicking me now Got the inside of this loop on this guy. Critted his right wing. AAA is firing. We got engine temperatures raising. The stakes are increasing. But he just doesn't have the loop. And now I'm on his six because he's critted enough. And we'll bring this guy. He's going swimming, it looks like. Yeah. Trying to do the old 50 caliber brakes right there. So two minutes. We're going to stay in the area. And our plane is not critted. He, that guy wasn't accurate enough to really damage his plane and then force me to get into another one. And no one's going for these artillery placements. And all we need is two more. Yeah. 
two more rocket kills and we're good. Minute 30 seconds. Um, I was going to do IL-2 and IL-2M, but the IL-2M is considered Tier 3. And that just puts you up against some planes that have some really impressive cannonry. So I opted not to do that one. And I have been putting up, on a different note, I have been putting up a lot of CBT footage. I've been having an absolute blast playing that. I think it's pretty cool that Gaijin lifted the NDA, or partially lifted it, as they said, as we have a minute here. And look at those just juicy targets, man. If we were just a little more accurate, we would be good. We're still learning. These rockets were not very accurate. Ooh, BB-1 dropping in on the, the green pastures here. And he's crashed. Interesting. Well, he did destroy someone. <laughs> 38 seconds. I think at maybe we're three kilometers out. We can start turning back and do a slow serpentine approach here. There's just no one over here, guys. It's a good little good little nook to hide out. Everyone's fighting over there, over five kilometers away. SP2M coming in. 13 seconds. So now we want to line up two in a row, and I'm going to fire two rockets at each one, just to try to get this done. Because I just don't trust the accuracy. I'm going to go here and there, because they they make a nice line. I'm going to fire... Let's do .3. Alright, that worked. And one more. Alright, so I think we did it. Let's get some insurance kills just to make sure. And we'll go directly down. A hit again, see? And that one worked. You'd think... I don't know what it was, but coming straight down didn't really work too well for me. But yeah, the CPD, CBT, is a lot of fun. Um, it's just... There's only a certain amount of tanks for the German and Russian nations right now. Like, let's see, the Germans have the Panzer IV C, Panzer II C, both of which are not too great, you know, in terms of combating Tier twos and whatnot. That guy's gunner was ripping us up. Thought he'd be going down, yeah. So I figured I'd pull off him, go after this wildcat here. We're gonna heads up. going for a pilot snipe there. But, um... So we get the inside loop. Heads up, because we don't care. But we got our engines on our own fire on that guy. Alright, so now we're going to go after this Heinkel 112. Save our Dornier 217. -er. But yeah, so Panzer 4C, Panzer 2C, Stug, there's the Sturmgeschütz 3, um, Panzer IV Ausführung F2. Just gotta avoid those heads up. Got someone on our tail. Heiko 112 V5, poor guy. Let's see, what else was there? There's the Flak Panzer, obviously. Out of ammunition, not the best timing. And let's see, I'm sure I left one out because I was distracted dogfighting. The Russians have the T-26. Happy New Year, Hans Ulrich. Let's see. So we're going to dip out here and take a look. But yeah, T-26, T-70, T-34... Uh, 1941 and the KV-1 alright we did our missions for today and they're all a blast like it's funny I was actually derping around in the T-26 which is a reserve tier plane and we were going up against tier 1's and 2's and I took out a tier 2 <laughs> 
which I thought was pretty fun. So it is it is possible to do that. And the T26 does have a 45 millimeter gun on it. So we completed our missions for today. Um, anyway, make sure to pull the trigger on that like button. And I want to I want to get a head count again now that there's you know the holidays are kind of winding down. Are people still grinding both planes? Are you grinding for the TB3, uh, the XF5F, or both? I'm still grinding for both, and I'm I've only missed two days. Uh, Christmas and the day after and you still only need 10 out of 17 missions to get the Tupolev TB3 and the XF5F Skyrocket anyway make sure to check out my channel as I've got a lot of CBT footage going up and it's pretty exciting stuff we've all been waiting for it and it's finally here anyway my name is Baron I thank you all for watching and I am signing out hey oh, yeah, Baron. yeah what's up what I'm are you driving KV-1 right now. I follow because I friend. Yes, very nice. Very nice. Krebs is taking a, a good elevated position over us. Oh, nice, nice, Hands Krebs. Good, uh, Unfortunately, good, uh, there's no uh, planes. There are no or no? Oh. There are then just no bail planes. out. I'm taking hits to the, the old caboose here. Oh, oh my gosh, are you getting messed up? Or are you getting like, like friended by all of our tanks? Oh, 